Hey everyone, my name is Alfredo and in this video we're going to go over the four different types of ROI. In the game Cashflow 101 we learn about two different types of ROI, cash flow and appreciation. In the real world there's actually four different types of ROI, cash flow, appreciation, amortization and depreciation. Once you understand how they all work together, you'll come to realize why people become so wealthy in real estate. Let's talk about cash flow. A lot of people think that cash flow is the money you earn from your job, but it's not. Cash flow isn't even the money you earn from properties, businesses, or stocks. Cash flow is the money you earn after all expenses are paid. It's also known as your net income. The sad truth is that most people not only live paycheck to paycheck, but they also have negative cash flow. So if you want to get out of the rat race, you definitely need to work on lowering your expenses, but mostly buying assets that give you passive income. I believe the best asset you can buy is real estate because not only can it offer you cash flow, but it also goes up in value over time. And that's called appreciation. Depending on where you buy real estate, you might get slow appreciation or fast appreciation. In areas that give you slow appreciation, there's usually more cash flow. And in areas that have fast appreciation, there's lower cash flow. When you buy real estate, you'll have to make the decision on whether you want cash flow or more appreciation. Another thing that's great about real estate is that it offers amortization. Amortization means that the debt on the property is being paid down over time, preferably by your renters. That means that the ROI is going up as the house is being paid down since you can make more money when you sell the property. And lastly, we have depreciation. Depreciation refers to something losing value over time due to wear and tear. What's great is that this loss in value can be written off on your taxes. This can be counted toward another form of ROI. Even if you only make 4% return with each form of ROI, that is still 16% return on your investment. And that's on the low end.